Welcome to this video. In this video, we are continuing with our study on the topic of bearing. This video is going to concentrate on the rules which are necessary for you to enjoy the topic of bearings. These rules are known as Muto's five rules of bearing. Muto's five rules of bearing. Once you master these Muto's five rules, it means that as far as bearing is concerned, it is an easy and easy topic to you. What are these five rules? Before I tell you the five rules which I've written right down here, what I want to assure you is, if at all you have not watched the previous videos on bearing, please kindly do so. Otherwise, these rules will actually be totally difficult to you to know and to apply. But if at all you have watched those videos and you have understood those videos, then well and good, come and enjoy with me. Rule number one. Rule number one is saying, go to be. What do I mean by go to be? Let's assume you have got a question which is telling you to find the bearing of A from B. You are looking for a bearing of A from B. So if this is the bearing which we are looking for, always go to the last letter. Whether it's a bearing of X from Y, then go to Y. Whether it's a bearing of L from M, then go to M. In this case, it's a bearing of A from B. Therefore, rule number one, go to B, which is the last letter. When you go to B, what must you do? So when you go to B, make your true north at point B. Make a true north at B. So this true north, actually, in the previous video, I introduced you to the true north, to the north. So if you don't know how to draw a north, revisit that video again. So create a true north. Make your true north at B. So sometimes this north will be given on to you. Sometimes the true north will be already drawn to you. Then you are well and good. All right. Now, after making your true north, what must you do? Move clockwise direction starting from your true north. So that true north which you have made in rule 2, start moving clockwise direction. What is clockwise direction? I've already made the video in clockwise direction. Visit it again if at all you have got problem on it. Move clockwise direction starting from your true north. You are starting from the true north and moving clockwise direction. Now, when you are moving clockwise direction, where do you end? Of course, you should have an ending. After moving clockwise direction, starting from your true north, it will give rise to rule number four. Rule number four, which is saying, while moving clockwise direction, end at the connecting line. What is the connecting line in this case? The connecting line is actually a line which is showing the letters, the two letters which are given onto you. For example, it's a bearing of A from B. So the connecting line is line AB. So line AB. So this simply means that when you're moving clockwise direction, starting from your true north, end at line AB. Immediately when you reach at line AB, end from there. When you end from there, it will give rise to the five rule. Five motors rule. This is the final rule, which is saying the direction of the angle covered is the bearing. Isn't it? So when you are moving clockwise direction, starting from your true north, you end at the connecting line, which is line AB. The direction or the angle you have covered the angle you have covered starting from the north up to the connecting line, starting from your north up to the connecting line, that angle is the bearing needed. Very simple rules. Very simple rules. Once you know these motors five rules of bearing, then it, it actually be an easy way for you to calculate the bearing. But what you must know is this, in terms of your final answers, in terms of your final answers, always bearing must have three digits, the notes which I've written here. So bearing is given in a three-figure form. For example, if your answer is 36, if your answer is 36 degrees, then just add a zero in front to make it a three-figure value. So if you if you indicate the zero here, it can be read as 036 degrees. 
If your answer is 130.7 degrees, then we know that 7 is more than 5. So mean that we take 1 and we put it at 0. So it will give us 131 degree. So meaning that in terms of reading it, in form of bi, this is 131 degrees. If at all your answer is 15.8 degrees, then you must round it off to the whole number. Means that you are going to have 16 degrees. But remember that. What's wrong with this 16 degrees? This 16 degrees is not a three-figure value. We end up losing marks, huh? So meaning that your answer here is what? It's 0160 degree. This is your answer. All in all, in this video, I've introduced you to the five rules of bearing. The rules which are commonly known as Muto's rules of bearing. Once you master these rules of bearing, then you have made your life simple as far as bearing is concerned. In the next video, can you watch the examples of bearing which are coming onto you for you to conceptualize the concept of bearing? Thank you for watching this video.